Good afternoon. I'm Ryan Dean. Welcome in on what's shaping up to be a very busy Tuesday. We'll get to your forecast in just a moment, but we begin with a search for the body of a five-year-old Syracuse girl. Police believe she was killed by her mother months ago. While the search intensifies, we are expecting to hear from the Onondaga County Executive about concerns within the county's Child Protective Services Unit. When he speaks, we'll go to the podium. But let's kick off our coverage with News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan, who's been working this story for 24 hours. Andrew. Well, Ryan, we have some new information uh, about the way the mother, the way uh, Latasha Mott is accused of hiding her, her, her child's disappearance. So one strategy Latasha Mott is now accused of is transferring her daughter from one school to another in name only after she's accused of already having killed and hid her daughter's body. Again, changing schools after paperwork indicating her transferring schools from one to another after she is already accused of killing the girl. All of the following information comes from the Syracuse City School District. Mott filled out paperwork to move the girl Nefertiti from McKinley Brighton to Meacham on January 16th, 10 days after court paperwork indicates she beat her daughter to death. That means the girl never showed up for a single day of school at Meacham. So when teachers questioned the girl's attendance, her mother said she'd been transferred again to a school in Georgia. All the while, the girl was dead and her remains were buried in a field behind me where the search continues and is intensifying this afternoon. Today, we've seen New York State Police bring canine units in, specifically trained in finding human remains. We know police were planning to bring in radar technology today. We're told the search is still actively happening behind me. We've seen the dogs get very close to the perimeter, which perhaps indicates that the search is expanding in terms of geography. We've not seen any work close to us yesterday. Now the, the dogs are getting closer to this edge where we're allowed to, st to stand. We're now expecting to hear from the Syracuse mayor, the Syracuse police chief, and the Onondaga County District Attorney later today. None of those people had been willing to do an interview with us until the girl's body was found. But now on a second or third day of searching, if you include Sunday when this case really opened, seems like they've been waiting long enough to talk so we hope to hear from them and get more information later today ryan okay so let's talk about another case that you also been following this is the second high profile case involving a child you had 11 year old ashton de uh die in a deplorable home conditions wise that's what we're expecting the county executive to touch on here in a little bit can you just talk about that a little bit what what he's going to be talking about uh cps in general well, Ryan, I want to differentiate the role CPS had in each of these cases. We know CPS was involved in both. In the case here, where this five-year-old was killed, it seemed on paperwork that the mother was doing everything she should have, meaning a, a check of the home where this girl and her siblings lived just two days before her alleged beating, CPS found everything satisfactory and was willing to perhaps close the opened case against her. That means CPS didn't see anything alarming to them. That's a different situation than what was going on with 11-year-old Ashton DeGonzac. In that case, we now know that Onondaga County is working to fire two Child Protective Services workers, which indicates problems within Child Protective Services related to that case. It means information was coming in to them from so many different sources that indicated that this child was in danger and no apparent action was taken by CPS. So what we know the county executive will announce momentarily is an independent review of that department, hiring family court judges who've retired, Martha Mulroy and Martha Walsh Hood, who will be performing an independent review of the cases handled by the specific caseworker assigned to the case involving Ashton DeGonzac. So while questions about the whole system are coming in now, this specific caseworker's handling of cases is being investigated by an independent uh, judge, a second independent judge as well. Now the questions for the county executive is, will these people be able to look at other cases, other caseworkers in the overall operation, knowing that CPS comes under scrutiny every time a child dies, Ryan? All right, Andrew Donovan reporting for us. We will certainly uh, ask the uh, county executive that question. Thank you so much for joining us. We know we'll hear from you throughout the day. And of